Hey guys, welcome to 40 Rounds. I'm Chris Ford, aka 40. Welcome back to my channel. Anybody new, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is a quick review on the Nike Lunar Epic. Um, these aren't the Lunar Epic lows, these are the uh, Lunar Epics with the stock on them. Um, I thought I'd do a quick review on these because I love these shoes and they're part of my London Marathon um, sort of training squad of shoes that I've got. So uh, let's have a look and uh, let you know what I think. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hey guys, welcome to 40 Rounds. I'm Chris Ford, aka 40. This video is a review of the Nike Lunar Epic. Uh, this shoe is one of my favourite shoes. I'm currently using these for my recovery runs. They're an extremely smooth ride uh, and you, you don't really notice, notice that you're wearing them. Um, I've also now started to wear these on my longer runs and that's why I bought these ones. These are the H2O repellent ones. Um, they've got like a laser cut um, cushioning system on them which is great and it's super soft uh, and super responsive um, you also got them on the if you look on the bottom of the soles the other thing is these you do get the uh, stones get stuck in them which is a bit annoying but that's probably one of the only downsides to them they still got the flyaway technology um, the current ones the lunar epic twos i think are, i've got a uh, i think they're lunar or they're lunar epic lows they don't have this sock on them but i like the sock it's supportive on my ankle um, there are probably one of the lightest shoes out there these are under 200 grams and they still got the 10 mil offset um, i say these ones are water resistant so why i started putting these into my longer runs to mix them up with my Pegasus 34s, um, so if I'm looking to go slow, which you know in the marathon training you do, you go a lot slower than you normally would. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying wearing these versus, let's say, the Pegasus 34, which aren't as soft and as forgiving as these. They do have uh, the option of two different inner soles. These have got the four mil inner sole um, versus the six mil, which I have in another pair. Um, of, uh, of Lunar Epics that aren't H2O repellent and I use them for my recovery runs uh, they're just basically like walking on foam um, and they're fantastic um, I say the sock liner doesn't give me a problem um, some people do have a problem with the sock liner um, I don't um, I know some people that that's why they prefer the, the the lower version of them but I love this shoe I would definitely recommend anybody who's doing marathon training if you can afford it to put them into your um, routine or your um, sort of running training uh, arsenal of shoes um, I would uh, recommend these I say mainly probably for your recovery runs but I love them also now for my longer runs and I would recommend them I could pick these up from the Nike store they weren't yet expensive uh, versus some of the other shoes and I think it's worth shopping around to see if you can get them online uh, pretty cheap but I give these bad boys a, a 9 out of 10 I, I love them um, and they're so I say they're super super comfortable hope that's useful um, if it is uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up uh, always subscribe to my channel if you can or if you've got any comments stick them below if you want me to try anything out stick them below and I'll have that out um, and you can check out my website 40runs.com and you can contact me via that and also follow me on Instagram or Twitter and again comment on uh, or get in touch via them but uh, I hope that's useful and I'll catch you later